Uh, hello ladies and gentlemen, today I've got a, a record by Brasby Williams and it's a pre-1910 recording, uh, one-sided, as you can see. I don't know if that ref reflects all right where you can see it. Mm -hmm. And there's the, there's the, the, the label. Macorba and Uriah Heap, spoken by Mr Bransby Williams, from David Copperfield. And it's pre-1910. I'm playing this on my, his master's voice, uh, Monarch, Monarch, horn gramophone. Which is an acoustic recording, ladies and gentlemen. Pre-1928 electric recording. young Copperfield, under the temporary pressure of pecuniary liabilities, contracted with a few to immediate liquidation, but remaining unliquidated through a combination of circumstances over which I have no control whatever, I regret, indeed I sincerely regret, that I have nothing that I can offer you in our parting but my advice. Well, my advice may be worth taking. And indeed, it may not. I've never taken it myself. <laughs> Still, my advice is, never do tomorrow what one can do today. Procrastination being the thief of time, you therefore collar him. My other advice is, let your annual income be, say, um, 20 pounds. Then let your expenditure be, say, uh, 19, 19, and six, and the result will uncertainly be happiness. But on the other hand, on the other hand, let your annual income be, say, um, 20 pounds, your expenditure 20, or and six, a result abject misery and power. The flower is with us, the lift is blessed, and the God of day goes down upon a very dreary picture, and you find yourself forever flawed, even as I am. But still, still, my dear young Copperfield, the friend of my youth, I always keep up his spirit, always keep up his spirit, as I'm shortly, well indeed I may be, momentarily expecting that something will undoubtedly turn up. It is so good of you to speak to me that is so humble. I'm sure I'm the humblest person that ever was, no matter where the other one might be. And my mother's humble too, and we live in such an humble abode. My father was humble. He was only a section, which is indeed an humble calling. But now he's a partaker of glory, Mr. Copperfield. Ah, oh, I'm back in a very humble way, I'm sure. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Copperfield. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Copperfield. Ah, the upstart puppy. I've got his friend, Whitfield, under me thumb, and I'll crush him. Someday, I'll get this upstart puppy in my power. And then I'll crush him too. And then I'll breathe a tale of love into his darling Agnes's ears. His darling Agnes, whom he loves so well. And when she's mine and in my power, I'll teach her who's the master. I'll break her heart for her. That's what I'll do. I'll break her heart for her. Oh, oh, Mr. Copperfield, I thought you gone. Goodbye, Mr. Copperfield, and God bless you, sir. God bless you, Mr. Copperfield. Cut him! Cut him! I hate him! I hate him! <laughs> 